my van is a complete mess. This is my fire stick here that I'm uh, dipping. Well, that your man here is dipping. I'm actually from Preston. Hello. I'll varnish it. I'm, I'm not buying no more knives. No. Oh, I big two wheels. Yeah, and those who didn't see the live show, this is Lee who, run, who runs the bug out, the bug out shop in Bills Wells. Yeah, yeah, get there. Yeah, if you're in Mid Wales, check it out. Yeah. Artist formerly known as Ben Jamin has some top trivia for you. So we were just having a conversation about taxis and uh, I'm going to give you a little fact about taxis. Um, do you know why the roof is arched on a taxi? No. So uh, a gentleman and his top hat can fit in there. Oh, like a Citroen 2CV. And live. From Hertfordshire, Benjamin has a sunburn coming along. <laughs> oh. I've, I've burned so easily. I, I think I'm the only one who's burned in Wales before. And that takes something, doesn't it? Uh, yeah. Firstly, to find a sunny day in Wales. <laughs> yeah, good job, man. You're burning proper there. Yeah. <laughs> Lurking in the picture. I, I switched the camera on to show you the looming clouds on the horizon. Oh, brewing. Moody. Oh, yeah, you can see oh. yeah, that. Wind, winds pick it up, there's a cold draft, it's coming. Dining in Keith's Port Care this evening, <laughs> and a splendid Port Care it is indeed, yeah. uh, because it's windy and it might rain. And tonight's recipe is duck, not just any duck, MS duck with sweet, yes, with a uh, sweet Swede mashed broccoli and mixed veg, yep, yeah, in orange sauce. And I can attest to it smelling absolutely. <laughs> I've got chicken in a minute, so I don't care. What is your opinion on the meal this evening? Very good, thank you very much. I need more adjectives, damn it. How can I work with these amateurs? I need adjectives. And as I have foreseen, the rain came down. Uh, well, to be fair, we, we all knew it was coming. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we knew it was coming. Mm. Just a matter of how long it's going to be here for. Mm. But this is definitely like, like I'd be sitting here now, and my brother-in-law would be going, "Oh, we've got to get all our stuff for it now. Now we've got to do this. Now we've got to do that." Oh, mm. God! You need the attitude to do this. Yeah, you do. You need every year. Yeah, I put it up in my garden. <laughs> mm. How you getting on, Ben? I'm enjoying it. Thank you. Removing Weetabix. Sunset in the background. Looking good. Oh, what's Thank great you. about Kev, among many other things, is he has had a long and interesting life. And only some of it could possibly be filmed for legal reasons, but what an interesting man. <laughs> good to meet you, Keith. Mm. Sorry I called you Kev earlier. <laughs> and probably right. just then. That's all right. And... And after the rain... Well, comes golden hour, and I have a new concept for a drone. It's low budget. This kite costs £3.80. <laughs> and I'm going to stick the string through my GoPro here and uh, 
Well, unfortunately, the wind has died off, so I'm going to have to run with it. <laughs> Would you like to see that? So that's the basic concept here is I've slammed the string for the kite into, <laughs> into the GoPro door. GoPro on, string ready. Huh. Tang will be on my back. Alright. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Fail. Now, uh, ladies, Ben's wood is wet. <laughs> and that's what happens when you burn wo uh, you wet got wood. A, you got a wet And just like that, it ignited and it's clean. That's just wood causing that fire. There's no fan or ignition in there? There's a fan, there's uh, air blowing from yeah. it, and that's how it gets it to the temperature. Ah. But it's a, it's a really good stove, that. What a golden hour. And as the sun sets, the fires are lit around the encampment. That's something for the SLR tripod crowd to wonder why they got so much equipment. <laughs> 